Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a swatch review for you guys, which is really different for me because I have not done a dedicated swatch review in years, but super excited because I partnered up with Picture Polish on this video and tried their brand for the first time. So a little bit about Picture Polish. They are actually an Australian brand and their nail polish is plant-based, sustainable, vegan, cruelty-free, tin-free, and breathable. To me, those are just great things to see, especially coming from a nail polish brand. So let's get into the swatches. The first shade that I tried out is called Be Creative and they describe this one as an iris crystal jelly holographic nail polish and that's definitely an accurate description this shade is gorgeous so I think the fun thing about trying a new brand is like you really don't know what to expect but guys this formula applied so smoothly so perfectly I was like literally looking at my nail like oh my gosh it was just nice so as you can see you have that purple jelly base and then running through it you have these tiny little holographic flakes and I just, I love the size of it because especially with that second coat, I feel like you get so much dimension. This color was completely opaque in two coats and I will be inserting pictures after each swatch just so you can see how the color looks in different lighting. The next shade is Tulip and this is like a peachy red. Actually, let me go back to their descriptions because I just feel like I'm really not the best at describing your colors. Okay, so they described this one as a coral pink crystal jelly holographic nail polish. So I guess pretty similar to a peachy red shade. And again, it has that holographic flake running through it, a jelly base, and again, a super smooth formula. So this one was also opaque in two coats. And I just feel like this is one of those shades that's perfect for summer, but at the same time, you could just pull it out around the holidays. I'm probably the only person thinking about Christmas nail art, but... I think this would be really cute for that. Next up is Selena, and this is an apple green holographic nail polish. So you don't have that jelly base here, but guys, I never thought I would fall in love with a green nail polish, like ever, but it happened. This one is one of my favorites in the collection. I love it so much, and I cannot tell you why, but something about this green, I think it looks great on, first off, but it's just, it's such a unique color and I just, it's so pretty. Easy application, love it out nicely and don't hold me to this, but if you have really short nails, you might be able to get away with one coat, but I'm not completely sure because it really depends how you apply it and things like that. But what makes this easy to apply besides the formula, of course, is the rounded flat brush. It's like a good in-between size because I find that some brushes are just too small for my nail, but then other brushes are so wide, especially when my nails are shorter. So this just covers a wider range of nail sizes, if that makes sense. Anyways, moving on to the next shade. This is MPA, which is a teal blue holographic nail polish. So it's going to give you the same look as the green shade, but a different color. Again, great formula, cute color. I really don't have anything bad to say. Like these are just some good nail polishes. And one thing I did forget to mention, so they did tell me that they create nail polish colors with people around the world. And I just noticed that each of these bottles have different creator names on the actual bottle. So all of these are all from different collaborations. And I just think it's neat to be able to see what different nail polish lovers create. It's like a little bit of them, you know? Maybe that got deep, I don't know. Anyways, this next shade is called Vibes. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but this is another favorite out of the colors. I love the shade, it is such a soft color. But at the same time, it's still opaque in two coats and you also get that holographic flake running through there and it's so subtle, but at the same time, it's just like, ugh. You guys are definitely going to be seeing this in some nail art looks and I think that's what I like the most about it because typically I use cream nail polish for my nail art, but I feel like this is just one of those shades you can wear on its own, but you could also use in some nail art without it feeling like too much or overdone, if that makes sense. Overall though, it's just gorgeous, it really is. The next shade is Ronnie, and this is a ruby pink crystal jelly holographic nail polish. So we're back to that jelly base, and typically I'm not the one to reach for a hot pink shade like this, which I don't know why because my favorite color is pink, but it's still a really pretty shade. It's just not something that I would typically reach for. You know what I think it is? When I first got into nail polish, 
I was around like seven or eight years old and the first shades that I ever used were like this type of hot pink and I used it constantly. So I think I just overdid it a little bit with this shade. Let me know if that's happened to you. If you've just used something or you wore something way too much to where you're just like, no, because I do the same thing with food. It's actually a problem. If I find something that I like, whether it's a snack or a restaurant, I'll keep eating it until I never want to eat it again. I don't know why I do, I really don't. And with that, the next shade is Bold. This is a deep cobalt crystal jelly holographic nail polish. I do have to say with this one, I probably should have done three coats. This was the sheerest of them all, but it was hardly noticeable. I didn't even notice it in person. I'm only saying that because on camera, after that second coat, I could see my nail line a little bit, but again, a really cute color. And overall, I really like this brand. This is not my usual style at all, but it's kind of nice because I feel like the colors by themselves are the nail art and I forget you can just wear solid colors sometimes, but great formula, great overall, I guess, first impressions. And I'm, no, I'm happy with this. <laughs> but I wanna know your thoughts. Which one is your favorite? Have you tried picture polish? And also, what do you think of the swatch review? Because this was fun to do, so I might do more. Let me know and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.